Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to do a recap on February's beauty subscriptions that I'm subscribed to. This will be things that I enjoyed um, or just okay and then some major fails. So let's start recapping and we're going to start off with BoxyCharm. If you remember what I received in my BoxyCharm was the Pretty Vulgar Bronzer. I love this. It does have minimal fallout. You can see that I have put it to the test. Um, it's a very beautiful color. It just warms your face. No problem. So that was a favorite. The next thing was the Nude Stick in the color Copper. But you can see that I've been loving on this too. Um, it's a great topper uh, for a shimmer. Can't go wrong with gold. Um, the only thing that I can say bad about it is that it dries fast. Once it's there, it's pretty much there. Um, next we had the Coco Cabana Cream, which as you can see I have not opened mine yet. Um, I do have a bigger size that I'm still working on emptying. It's alright. It's not the smell that I wanted when I purchased that, but it is okay. It's no Bum Bum Cream by far, but it is what it is. The next thing was the Better Than Sex Mascara that everybody received in their box. I think this mascara is awesome. Um, I received the Superhero Elastic It Matte. It cosmetics mascara last year in a boxy charm and until the end um, as soon as I got it I played with it I really enjoyed it I ended up reordering it before I was ever even out of the first one then I received a mini sample in my ipsy I believe in January so up until then or up until now that's the mascara I've been using, although I do like this mascara. It's thick, it separates the lashes. I, I enjoy this mascara. And the last thing we received was the Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Primer. This stuff feels amazing, don't get me wrong. It feels great on the skin. It's not greasy, it's light, it's airy, but it does nothing. It does nothing but feel good. Um, it does not fill your pores. Uh, I just, for what it was, it was not what I thought it was going to be. Um, so that was a, a not a very good one in my book, basically. Okay, and for BoxyCharm, that is what I thought about that. So we had four out of five that I was pretty impressed with. The next thing was the Ipsy bag for February. In here, we will revisit what I ended up receiving. The first thing was the Ico mascara. Now, I love this. This little chubby mascara, this was the first one that I had received ever. Um, I know that there are quite a few, but Took me a minute to figure out that you needed to squeeze the tube to get it on your brush. But after that, it's a done deal. But I love this for the lower lash line. You can get right in there. You can see exactly what you're doing and exactly what you're covering and not covering. The next thing I received was the Pixie Glow Tonic. Which if you remember, um, I'm a firm believer in Pixie products. Um, I love it. I can't say anything bad about Pixie so far. And the last ones that we received was the Seraphine Botanicals Daisy and Pearl Highlighter. Now this highlighter, when I first got it, I thought it was a pretty beautiful color. It looks like it's everything you need and more. And while on the finger, it's amazing. It's pretty. It's 
you know, it's sheen. But once you stick a brush in this, it seems to almost go to a cream, a wet feeling. And to me, it smells like a new notebook. That real harsh paper smell that you get when you flip through a brand new notebook. That's what that smells like. Now, while you can't really put highlighter on with your finger and get it exactly where you want it and need it to be, um, using a brush with that was a total flop for me. The next thing we had was the Kooky Cosmetics Be Bright Concealer. Now, I like this, and it blends out great. Um, as I've said before, I do not wear liquid foundation. Um, I'm 41 years old, and I have come to find that it settles in fine lines and wrinkles and pores and just not jiving with it no more. But I did use a concealer before I put on my powder. So this was great. Um, I also use it to carve out my eyebrows. So even though I don't use it as it's intended, I still use it. Then I got the Laritzi Long Lasting Lipstick. And I got it in the color Tidal. Now, this was a beautiful color. Loved it. Just pretty, mauve pink color. And I like it. I, I love the color. Um, the long lasting ability I like in a lipstick. The only thing I don't like is, as with most lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, the drying feature. Um, it is very dry. It almost feels like it like I'm sucking on a lemon and totally took out all the hydration in my lips. But that's with almost every liquid lipstick that I've come to find. So, in my Ipsy bag this month, I'm sorry, this is March. I know it's going quickly by, but you know what I mean. In the month of February, which we are reviewing, in my Ipsy bag I had four out of five likes. Um, the only thing I can speak early of was the highlighter that does some crazy things. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is the Allure Beauty Box. This is my second time getting this box. Um, when I purchased this box, I was assuming that I was going to get it for January. I ended up getting the December box. So, I got December and February. Um, I missed out on all the Sunday Riley make, um, skincare, which seemed to be great, but don't get me wrong, I rather enjoyed my December box, um, but it's not what I thought I had ordered. So, let's start. The Wonder Beauty Mile High, yeah, Mile High Club Mascara. It's another 2B mascara. Um, I did not like this mascara it's it's not that I didn't like it it's just it's a very thin formula if you're not wanting to put a lot of makeup on that day I would highly suggest going with with this mascara um, I'm sure it can be built up but you know once you get to that thickness or thinness that you like with the mascara if it's not giving you what you want you kind of just step away and reanalyze some of your other mascaras that you know work. So, that was a fail for me. The next thing was the Momad face mask. I used it. It was a face mask. Um, it felt hydrating. It felt nice. It was very wet. Um, there was a lot of product on there. I don't know why they have to soak them in all of that liquid that we just put on our face and it feels like it's cold, it's freezing, it feels like it's dripping or it does drip. Um, it was a face mask. There's not a whole lot of negativity that you can say for a face mask. It did what it needed to, it hydrated and felt my, left my face feeling hydrated and plumper I'm guessing, or I'm gonna say. Okay. 
The next thing we had was by the same company as the face mask. It was the Momod Oil to Foam Cleanser. I like this. It felt good. It The smell is the flower rose. I like the, the smell of rose. It reminds me of my grandmother. So it was a good, it was a good cleaner. Um, never really tried the oil to foam cleaners. I have some. I just, I'm not real big on putting oils on my face. So that was a, that was a fave for me. The next thing we got was the Brow Gal. Um, instant brow hair, brow gel. I'd never used this. Um, I, I like it. It doesn't fill in my brows the way that I like them to be. Um, but if I was just an easy makeup day, running out of the house, just throw on some quick, there you go. You don't see where I have no hair and have hair. So this was okay. I, I enjoyed getting this and I have tried it and I like it. Now the Mally lipstick. First of all, this was the funniest form of lipstick I've ever received so far in a subscription box. Um, I did use it today as a topper um, to go over the, yeah, I think it's, it's the Ipsy title. Now for a topper, this, this is great. Um, I do a topper of some kind of shine gloss. And then I use the liquid highlighter in my small sleek palette um, to go on top of my lips. I blot most of the gloss down and then I put that highlighter on top of it. And that's what I prefer doing. Um, not everybody has to do it that way. But alone, this, this is very sticky. Um, like I said, I'm not real big on lip balms and glosses. So, that's how that worked out for me. Next, we had the Triad Moda Brush. It's a brush. It, I've washed it. It did not shed. Something flying around. It did not shed. No hairs have come out. It's a brush. Um, you can throw all the brushes at me you want. I have a problem with makeup brushes. My husband will tell you that himself. He does not understand. Um, and then the next thing we had was the Model Company Trio Eyeshadow. I loved all the colors. Every one of them. They have blended. They have great pigment. Uh, there's not a whole lot of negative anything that I can say about this palette. It's not very big. But the color, the color is there. And you can make a full color. This is an easy go-to. I don't want to drag out my monstrosity of palette collection and find this color in this one and this color in that one. So I enjoyed it. It was it was great. So we had five that I really liked. The lip the lipstick was a as a lip topper. It's great. So that was an okay. And then the mascara was just a total flop for me. But it's not like the I don't get mascaras in almost every subscription box. So, not liking one is not the end of the world. Um, if you see me looking down, I've taken notes so that I, I can get through all of this. Um, at the moment, I have seven subscription boxes. And you get quite a bit of stuff after you start receiving two or three. So, if you see me looking down, that is why. The next thing we're going to do is the glossy box for February. Again, this is my second time receiving the Glossy Box, and I enjoyed it. Um, I have not had anything negative to say about Glossy Box since I started receiving it. Now, that could change, but as of for now, I, I enjoyed this subscription box. The first thing we're going to talk about is the Manicadar Step 3. Now, they said that this was an eyeshadow, a blush, uh, and a contour. I couldn't make a blush out of that if I tried. 
I didn't like the colors. I This was a simple fail for me simply because it's so small. I won't reach for it. It just, and as you can see, uh, it's got some chunky pieces in there. This just wasn't, wasn't a done deal for me. It, it was a fail. Now, the next thing we had was the Mighty Patch. Now, if you remember, I told you that I don't get breakouts on occasion. I don't get breakouts most of the time. Every once in a while I do, but hey, I'm human, female, hormones, it all works to its advantage, not mine. But, love this. Um, have already looked into repurchasing these. These worked great for my daughter. Can't say anything bad about them. Loved them. The next thing was the ooh, the pomegranate brightening eye oil. I don't see where it brightens a whole lot, but it smells good. Feels nice. But I need to try it a little bit longer. But so far it was it was okay. I again I don't put many oils on my face, so then we got the Arizona perfume. I like this a lot. It smells good. Um it's one of those smells that mm, as soon as you put it close to your face where you can smell it, it's just that good feeling that you get when you smell something that you are excited about and that is a great smell um i usually wear the gucci bloom that is what i prefer to wear i'm not really into perfume but when i do wear it that is what i wear and as you can see i have put a little dent in this one because i do like the smell of it then we got the skin chemist lip plumping lip gloss this transfers a lot it tingles quite a bit it's got the strongest peppermint smell ever and i don't see where it did a whole lot of plumping of anything could be just me could not work so i don't know i just I didn't like it. I won't use it again. And then the last thing we got was the dry shampoo. Of course, I told you I don't use dry shampoo. My daughter will. I will not. So that was our glossy box reunion with uh, February's items. The next box we have is the Yes or Yes. Now, if Yes or Yes does not kick up their game this month, I will be canceling this subscription. This is my second subscription with them. And I'm just not blown away. It's just not what I thought it was going to be when I started the subscription. Um, most of their items looked really good. Getting them in person, me, not so much. Um, I wasn't just blown away by it so if they don't step it up this month those will that subscription will be cut and something else will take its place so let's start off with the the brushes we got three brushes good brushes um, again like I said you can give me brushes all day long if there was a brush script subscription that wasn't $20 a month for four brushes you could count me in but I'm not going to pay that for four brushes when I get brushes and subscription boxes all the time um, I did however use this angled eyebrow brush now I've always been a draw with a pencil either retractable sharpening pencil to do my eyebrows um it's just the way i grew up it's what my mother did and that's what i've always done up until a couple days ago to where i used this brush 
and learned how to do the fill in with it. The little hair strokes. I like it. Um, I don't think I did too bad. Eyebrows always need a lot of work. So I'm always constantly working on that. But that brush was amazing. The next thing we had was the bang crayon. This in my book was just an epic fail. This is the most awful color. I don't know. I just, I will never wear it. Unless you pair it with something else, like to lighten up another dark color, that crayon is totally useless to me. It's just a fail in my book. The next thing we had was the Kooky Cosmetics Velvet Smooth Eyeliner in green. Like I said, my eyes are green. This goes right on. There's no tugging. There's no pulling. It keeps great color. It does not. Some eyeliners, you know, after you've had them on for a minute, they move and smudge. Your eyes water. And there goes your eyeliner. That stays. It's great. Um, I didn't think it was going to be as good as it is. And I very much appreciate how good it turned out to be. The next thing we got was the J-Cat brown eyeliner. This was a fail. This would not go on my waterline to save my life. Just would not rub it on my hand. Comes off. Rub it on your eye. And nada. So, wouldn't go on my waterline. But I turned it into a lip pencil. And it works great as a lip pencil. It's actually what I have on right now. And I like it for such. So. It was a no-go for an eyeliner. But a total go for a lip liner. So, you know. It's your makeup. You use it how you want to. Get creative. The last thing we had in here was the Emerald Palette by Beauty Creations. Now, I was so looking forward to this palette because of all the greens. That's what that palette looked like. As you can see, I have tried and played and the whole nine yards. Now, some of these, some of these colors are beautiful. This is what I have on my eyes today. Um, let's just swatch some so you can get the real look. For yourself um, I'm not gonna swatch the shimmers until last the shimmers were beautiful some of these colors are amazing some of them the green that I was so excited about So, as much as I was looking forward to this palette coming, to me, it was a total, not something that I'm going to reach for a whole lot. Just for the simple fact that you have to build up these colors, you have to go over and go over and go over, or wet them. Um, I did try wetting my brush, and that helped some, but... Not a whole lot. I have better palettes. I have smaller palettes that I believe are better than this. That is the darkest color in there. I don't know if it's a black or a dark brown. Also what I have on the ends of my eyelid. You have to build and build and build and then blend and then blend. And it just, it was a no-go for me. And then the shimmers. Shimmers were amazing. Let me find a spot. 
I mean, those are pretty, pretty, pretty colors. But again, as you can see, it's chalky. You can, you can see it falling off of my arm. But the color is there on the shimmers. Um, definite payout on that. So, while the palette was not my favorite, it's not a complete flop. It can be used. You just have to work at it. So, that's about all I can say on that. And that was our Yes Oh Yes bag. Like I said, if they don't step up their game this month, they're out of here. So with that one, I had three brushes, a green eyeliner, and the palette was okay. The brown eyeliner was alright, but not for such as being an eyeliner, which is what it is advertised as being. But for a lip liner, it worked great. Love it. The next thing we have is our Sephora Play. This is my first time getting this subscription. And... I was really impressed by what we got, or what I got anyway. Um, I did enjoy it. I can't wait for this month to see what's coming next. That's the thing with subscription boxes. Once you get one, to you know, I started with Ipsy, and then I moved on to BoxyCharm, and then I went to Yes Oh Yes, and then I got Alert and Glossy Box and Sephora Play and Lip Monthly and. The more you get, the the more you just keep getting. And then you get to try all new kinds of things that you wouldn't normally try. Which is what I like out of it. And so does my husband. But the first thing we got in here was the Bite Beauty Lipstick. And if you remember, I got mine in the color Maple. This stuff smells great. It smells like... Kool-Aid from when you were a kid or a popsicle to that summer fruit sweet smell love it feels great smells great can't say anything bad about it next was the Wonder Beauty baggage claim eye gel mask I have not used mine um, in my previous video if you watched it you will know that I got those in my first BoxyCharm ever and used them and was pleasantly surprised they work. I can't say anything bad about it. Um, I have since gotten more Wonder Beauty items and I've enjoyed some of them. Some of them I, I just didn't, but that one, those work. I suggest you try in them if you have not already. Then we got the 72 hour Clinique Moisture. Now, I don't know about 72 hours of moisture. I don't even think there's 72 hours worth of product in here. So, but feels great. Um, made my skin feel good. Can't say anything bad about it. The next thing I got was the Caudalie Moisture Survey. I tried this and I wanted to know it. It broke my face out. Which is how I ended up trying these bad boys. So, with this, I got to try this. It's funny how things like that work out, but that is what happened. So, I'm, I'm not a fan of this. I don't know if I used it wrong. I don't know if my skin's too dry, too oily. I don't know. Beats me. I won't be using it. So. And then the last thing I got in here was the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I tried to make this work. Um, like I said in my previous video, I bought some of this about two months ago. Two and a half, three months ago now. <clears throat> and tried it. And again... I'm 41. I do not do liquid foundations anymore just for the simple fact of I don't care what you do the little hacks, the primer, the 
pore filler, the powder before. The... There's a certain age where makeup just does not sit where it used to um, without Botox or fillers or something in that nature. Um, we all age. We all have lines and crevices and I don't do liquid foundation and that's all I can say about that. Um, I did try it. It looked horrible. Even my daughter told me, mom, don't wear that ever. <laughs> I was going to wear it for the video today and she said, why would you go on there and tell your followers that you don't like this, but you have it on your face? And she was right. So after washing my face, moisturizing my face, I redid it because yeah. Um, I don't like it. It doesn't really matter if it's Estee Lauder or Too Faced or Dior, Maybelline. Doesn't matter. I'm a powder girl and will remain as such. Till those days of fillers and Botox kick in. Just kidding. Okay, the last thing we're going to go through was my lip monthly bag. This is my second lip monthly. Um... I started getting this subscription because I only got one or two lipsticks in a bag and I wanted to amp my lipstick choices. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted more choices of lipsticks and colors and lip products such as pencils, um, crayons, that sort of thing. So Lip Monthly has totally done exactly what I wanted to, it to do. Um, I don't know if I'll be canceling that, but I'm sure I will be soon. And in partner with that, it will go to another subscription. But let's get into what I got for February. I got the IBY Beauty Lip Liner. I got it in the color Blush. This is a very natural pink color. Can go with almost any lipstick. And if it's too light, you just do what I did and turn your brown eyeliner into a lip pencil. So. Between the two, you know, it's not that far off, but I liked it. It's a pretty color. I will use it. I have used it. Um, I actually have this pink in the middle right here and right here. Then I have the brown on each end and in the middle of my lips and so forth and so forth. But I enjoyed that. Okay, the next thing that we got was the... Bella Pierre Cosmetics lipstick. And we got it in the color Sassy. And that is what that color looks like. There was the color color of it. It's a pretty color. It does transfer. It smells amazing. Um, my husband tells me all the time that he wants to eat my makeup. Which, we're not going to do that, but... Some of the makeup companies, they got it going on. The smells that they make in these things are amazing. The next thing we got was another Bang Beauty product. This was the liquid lipstick. And this was in the color Hot Chocolate. Now when I first swatched this color, I was under the impression that it was going to be very dark. And mind you, it is a dark color, but it looks amazing. If you have darker hair, darker skin tone, that's for you. But as every other lipstick that is a liquid lipstick, it is very drying. So, use your lip gloss, lip balm. Speaking of lip balm, <laughs> the last thing we got in here was the tinted lip balm in vanilla peppermint. First of all, I hate the smell of vanilla. It's just very off-putting. I did give this to my daughter. She likes it. Um, the only lip balm that I use is the Brazilian Kiss and that's only in the last mm, year and a half um, since I got turned on to Sol de Janeiro. Um, I will never use another lip balm but that one. So, <clears throat> in that bag, in that bag we got 
three of the four items I liked and I will use. The Sephora, I totally forgot to talk about what I liked and what I didn't. The Sephora Play, I didn't like the foundation. The Sorbet broke me out. Um, the Clinique 72 hour moisturizer, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I just don't know that something has the effect to be 72 hours and still working from one application. So, your own thoughts on that. Um, the eye gel, baggage claim, eye masks, great. The Bite Beauty, loved it. The Yes Oh Yes, oh yes, I said that one. Um, okay, I think that was it. So I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I really feel like I'm getting a lot better at these videos. Uh, you can comment down below. Love to hear from you, talk to you. Um, and it can be about whatever. It can be about what color you did your eyeshadow today. So, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, you can give it a thumbs up. Possibly subscribe. Come back, see what other content I'm putting out. It is the month of March. Super excited. It is Boxy Lux month and I am all waiting on that. Plus my other boxes. I did join in two more boxes this month. We joined in the Birch box and then the Walmart Beauty box. So, till next time. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you later. Bye.